Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Captain Rye and today I've got another wonderful World of Warships video for you here in my Sharnhorst. First big announcement of the day though, 500 subscribers. Holy crap. Took me a little over 8 months to get here but hey you know what I'll take it. Let's hope that I can get uh, 500 more subscribers in the coming months. As many of you know, I attended the Wargaming Let's Battle Tour here in Seattle, and uh, I've actually managed to do uh, quite well for myself in that. One of the glorious things that was handed out was a free USS Texas, which I just opened up that premium code and got that. A ship that I had never intended on buying, using, or otherwise, and actually kind of enjoyed playing. <laughs> well, that'll teach me to have bias against premium ships. Uh, but as a result, I have a premium invite code to give away. Obviously, invite codes can only be used by new accounts, which means I can't use it. The invite code includes a thousand of bloons, plus a thousand gold for World of Tanks, a million credits in both, and seven days of premium. Premium Cruiser Aurora and the T-127. So, since the code doesn't expire till the end of the year, I'm thinking if we can hit a thousand subscribers by November, I'll hold some kind of giveaway. And if not, I'll probably just give it away to my subscribers anyway. Anyway, the battle is Neighbors, and the mode is Domination. Once again, headed in my Sharnhorst, leading the pack on the front of the team. Got a bunch of Clevelands over there that I'm going to go ahead and shoot at. And uh, this is during the first anniversary birthday and you'll see there I just got torpedo soup for well getting an over penetration most people assume that you had to hit 10 torpedoes in a battle in order for that achievement I don't know why it gave me that achievement I really don't in fact I got king of the party without achieving the other achievements <laughs> If you saw my video on Sunday, you will know that I got that in the carrier. Of course, this battle was done before, but I felt like everybody's had too much of the Sharnhorst, well, too much of me in the Sharnhorst lately. But this was a good battle, so I wanted to showcase it. Pushing up here, towards the A cap zone. This Congo up in the distance is actually an ARP Haruna. He doesn't show up until the um, post-battle results screen as an ARP Haruna, which is weird because even without the Yokosuka port prior to this patch, if you didn't have that port enabled, you could still see ARP ships and they were still very much ARP ships. You just didn't have them in your port, and I kind of, I'm a little disappointed by that. Because I don't like the Yokosuka port, but I'd still like to see the ships in battle. Oh well. I'm taking quite a bit of fire in, secondary fires from this Haruna, and of course I've got secondary shots opening up on him. I'm taking shots in from a destroyer off in the distance, which is really more than anything just annoying me as he's set me on fire and all these battleships up here I'm using the island for cover and this Haruna does not want to give me a broadside and doesn't matter he's dead anyway there's a destroyer I was taking shots from and I'm gonna go ahead and get my secondary guns trained on him just about ready to open fire on him with my main battery and I'm waiting for him to give me a nice, flat, broadside. Well, well, doesn't matter. He's dead anyway. All right. 
little disappointed I didn't get the kill on that destroyer, and we'll see why at the end of the battle, like so many of my recent battles, I'm coming up one kill short of the Kraken. <sighs> well, you know what? I finally did get a Kraken. I got a Kraken in the most OP ship possible. I got a Kraken in the Nikolai. Another ship that I got from PAX that I'd never intended on buying. My next victim's gonna be this New York up here. He's broadside on to me. I'm not sure if he just doesn't realize that broadside on to anything at that range is bad for your health, or if he's just too slow to really realize it. Of course, he is starting to realize broadside on to a battleship, or indeed anything at that close range, is bad for your health. So he's going to begin turning into me. Trying to get, to get this torpedo beats. Can I do it? Yes. Managed to torpedo beats. And there's the turn. He knows I've got torpedoes out. So he's going to try and dodge all of them. And the enemy carrier has been harassing me. And I'm not entirely sure why. But we'll figure that out pretty shortly. This New York is closing in. He's going to get a couple of more shots off, and he's doing decent damage, but you're firing at the belt armor on a Sharn horse. That's not going to go well. And now, of course, with my speed, he's basically let me get broadside onto him and finish him off. But look at the number of secondary hits I've managed to rack up so far. There is that enemy aircraft carrier, and I'm debating here if I want to try and get my guns around to shoot him, I have my secondaries trained on that enemy Sharnhorst. But that carrier, well, he's going to do what carriers do on this map. He's going to go hide behind that island. So I'm probably going to go have to play Ring Around the Rosy with that carrier. In the meantime, this Sharnhorst is well within torpedo range. And he's giving me a broadside. His guns are pointed my direction but it doesn't really matter. Keeping my speed variable and my direction changed as often as possible, so I dodge all of his torpedoes. The enemy carrier is trying to drop torpedoes on me again, and once again, torpedo beats. The sound system on this ship is fantastic. That Sharon Horse, though, he didn't change his course and direction, didn't get into maneuver, he just sailed in a straight line and was easily torpedoed. That enemy carrier, I know where he's at. He's behind this island. I know he's back there. And he's kind of gotten himself into a very, very bad situation. You see, he's facing the wrong direction. He knows I'm coming because I'm detected. He's got aircraft up. He knows what direction I'm coming from. Well... He's going to try and back up, because that's about the only thing he can do. But he doesn't have a high top speed going backwards. Which means I'm going to very easily get around this island before he can back around and use it for cover. I've also given myself a wide enough berth that if he did manage to get back there, I could just turn and cut him short. Managed to get a citadel right on the front of the ship. And there's my high caliber as I shoot down more airplanes. He's getting desperate there. Those torpedoes, they're going to miss me. Barely, but they're still going to miss me. Have secondaries trained on him. There is my shot in the dark award for shooting down 15 aircraft. And killed the enemy carrier. Now, I'm just going to go farm aircraft kills because, you know, why not? Free planes. Mmm, tasty planes. With that carrier gone, that marks my fourth kill and 140,000 damage done. My team's in a pretty damn good position. We have two of the cap points, we've lost four ships, and the enemy team only has four ships. And, without the aircraft carrier, we now have total air superiority to do whatever it is that we so desire. Unfortunately for the rest of this match, 
I don't actually get any more kills or any damage done. I'm too far back, and the enemy fleet, as you can see, is all the way back in the opposite corner. But I want to show you this Boondi's death. This Boondi, off in the distance, is closing in on the B cap point, and he's using that island for cover. But take a look at that Fuso. That Fuso's down there, and he's got all of his guns pointing that way. Well, that Boondi comes around that corner and gets wasted in one shot. 400,000 credits done, 144,000 damage, top of the team for XP earned, and that's it for today's match. If you like the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, hit that like button and get some updates. I'll probably do the giveaway on Facebook. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can check out my Patreon. Both of those links in the description below. This is Captain Rye, signing off.